Hi students, coming to the next topic that is the user interface design models. So in the previous video, I explained about the user interface design models. Uh, so those are the four design models will be present that is a user model, design model and uh, mental that is a system perceptions and the implementation model. So these are the four different uh, uh, design models that will be used to analyzing and designing of a user interface. Now let us see uh, what this user interface and analysis, uh, let me explain with this uh, example. User interface analysis and design process first it is an iterative process so the user interface analysis and design will follow the iterative process and it can be represented and it can be represented as a spiral model So, this iterative process will be represented by using the spiral model. Actually, this user interface analysis and design consists of, it consists of four framework activities. Four framework activities. So, what are those four framework activities that are present in the user analysis and design which are represented in a spiral model? So, the first is user task means user task and environment or environment or interface analysis. So, the first framework is user task and environment analysis. Second activity is interface design. Next, interface construction or you can call it as implementation. And the fourth one is in interface validation. So, these are the four framework activities which are represented in the spiral model. Uh, means the user interface if you want to analysis and design the user interface process, you have to follow these four framework activities. First, you have to use a you have to gather the user task and whatever the task that the user is giving and the environment analysis means the interface analysis. There you are going to gather the requirements. So in this framework, okay, in this framework, we are gathering the requirements. Requirements gathered. And in the interface design, we are going to find out the objects. Uh, you have to design, design the framework uh, in the way that you have to find out what are the objects that we are using on that process. Okay. And the actions that we are going to be taking place. So that will be represented in the form of a design. So that activity is the interface design. So, okay, I, I designed whatever the process that I want to be implemented. Next is the interface construction so after designing we have to construct so here in this construction framework user interface development tools may be used development tools may be used in this interface construction and finally uh, this is a, a last activity that we have to be done is the interface validation. So, this interface validation will correctness of system is validated here. So, these are the four framework activities that we have to be performed uh, in a user interface analysis and design process. So, here I am just explaining. Already I explained the design model. So, the design is a user model, design model, mental model and implementation model. Everything is the same here. Okay. But here the main thing is we are representing everything means the process is done here in iterative process. We are following one of the process by taking that four design models. So, these are all the four design models. So, these four design models uh, are executing in the form of iterative process and it can be represented as a spiral model. Okay. So, the spiral model can be represented as user interface design process. 
can be represented in spiral model. Okay, so what phase is this? So here the user task and environment analysis phase. So this is the first task. So here uh, requirements are gathering. And next is in the second task, interface has to be designed. So in the third task, we will going to be implement or construct the process. And the fourth one, the fourth one is just interface validation. Interface validation. So this is uh, the UA design process is represented in spiral model. Represented in spiral model. So the first is the interface analysis, interface design, interface construction and interface validation. So this is about the user interface design models. Thank you.